Hey everybody, welcome to the long-awaited return of Northern Lion to enter the Gungeon. It has finally happened, dudes. Since we last regularly played Enter the Gungeon, there have been three large updates. Supply drop, um, another one. <laughs> I forgot, advanced gun guns and dragons. And uh, also, uh, the new one that just came out, A Farewell to Arms, which wraps up the content for Enter the Gungeon. If you're not familiar with Enter the Gungeon, it is a roguelite twin-stick shooter. Isaac-ish. With much more synergy. In fact, Gungeon has gotten uh, insane... It's, it was already good to begin with. It's gotten insanely better, I think, over the course of its existence. And yet, I haven't found an opportunity to come back and play too much of it. But I thought with this update, we might genuinely have a good opportunity with which to do so. So before we get started here, I want to set a couple of expectations. One, we're not going to 100% enter the Gungeon, okay? Probably. Um, we're just going to play until I don't want to play anymore, which could be a week. Could be two weeks, could be a month, who knows. Of course, I will let you know before I'm going to stop. But um, the second thing is, I'm using a guide here posted on my subreddit. Just, and no spoilers, but to let me know what I'm missing since the last three updates, you know? So here's the checklist. The bullet is a special character top left there, now has a past. The robot has a past. That's when you beat the game, you get to fight the past. And it's a story thing. Find the final jailed NPC and try out his new game mode. Defeat the rat, which I know is like a punch-out style boss. Unlock the final update's first secret character. Unlock the final update's second secret character. And then a couple of things like defeat the advanced dragon, reach the new secret floor, things that are a little bit tougher. For now, um, here's the thing. We're gonna play as the hunter. Why the hunter? By the way, you can pet the dog now. Genius move. Um, we, we got a, a number of different things on the go. One of the things we have to do is, uh, if you've never seen Gungeon, which is unlikely, you're going to pick it up pretty quick, I think. If you've seen a lot of Gungeon, I apologize for the fact that I'm, I'm probably going to be a little bit derelict for a while. It's going to take me a little bit to get my sea legs back. Sorry, I just accidentally walked into the tutorial, for example. Um, but... Uh, there's new stuff to unlock. Looks like you still need to fun hunt five dragon. Hold on. I'm just seeing if we have any other money that we could spend on uh, on unlocking new items, but perhaps not. A couple of questions to answer. I'm playing on the controller. It's just more comfortable for me, you know? There is a little bit of auto-aim, but uh, I have the auto-aim cranked down a little bit, as you could probably glean from that area right there. I'm one of those weird guys, you know, I'm a, uh, let me lower the, my own volume a little bit here, too. Um, I'm one of those guys, I'm, uh, keyboard mouse Isaac, controller Gungeon sort of fellow. I feel like that doesn't put me in the extreme minority, but puts me in the slightest minority. You know, I know a lot of good Isaac players, hello Tomo, not a good Isaac player, by the way, he's never won a single run. Tomo's my cat, by the way. Uh, a lot of good Isaac players are uh, controller players, which is baffling to me. Because I, I mean, it, it's baffling to me because I all of my thousands of hours in the game are on keyboard or mouse. So I'm like, how do you do it? It just doesn't work for me. What is this? So these are passive items. I believe this is Table Tech Shotgun. You flip a table, it shoots a shotgun blast out. How good is that? I have no idea. But you know. I'm kind of, I'm operating under the assumption that if you're watching this, you know, you got some familiarity with Gungeon. If you don't, don't worry. Like I said, I think you're going to pick it up pretty quickly. Basically, here's the, the clutchest part of it, okay? Um, you kill enemies. You get money. You get items. You use those to build a run, you know, with, with synergies the same way you would in any other... Uh, roguelike game, increase your damage, increase your speed, increase your HP, etc, etc, etc. And then eventually you either beat the game or lose the game and you try again. And those are the, the basic level mechanics that you need to know if you want to have a chance. The other thing is, dodge rolling makes you invincible. So if you, if you needed uh, a primer, there you go. But you're going to figure it out as you go here. Though, one of the, and I, I liked Gungeon a lot. I mean, I have 175 hours played of, of Enter the Gungeon. A lot of people think I, I don't like the game. It's not the case. Now, that being said, when it first came out, I didn't think it was perfect. 
terrible damage there, by the way. Um, one of the things that annoyed me the most was that uh, it seemed like you very rarely... Uh, this is pre, like, patch one, basically. Um, or, well, pre-big update one, at least. You very rarely got enough ammo to justify using the cool new guns that you found. Which means that oftentimes you would either abstain from... That's a mimic, dude. You would either abstain from using your cool guns. We have a crossbow here as the hunter, by the way, which I think is slightly better to start with here for damage purposes. Ooh, the infinity gauntlet. Gives you armor every floor. Um, so you'd either abstain from using your cool guns because you were worried about not having enough ammo for them, you know, for the fights that mattered, or you would use them and run out of ammo. And, uh... Then you would be using your starter pistol on the final floor and being like, well, I guess it's time to die then. Um, they've done it, in my opinion at least, some people might find this contentious, maybe the game has gotten too easy for them. But in my opinion, the uh, they've done a good job of balancing the game so drops are a little bit more frequent, a little bit less punishing, and as a result, uh, more interesting for me personally. Plus, they really doubled down on, uh, on actually making like bespoke synergies for the game so it wasn't just like... Cool upgrade plus stats equals I win. Um, yeah, we'll take the key. Instead, it's, uh, you know, there's, there's actual synergies in the game. And, and I guarantee we'll see many as, we, uh, as we're going through here. The only other thing I would say is, you know, if you're a... Uh, oh, I shot the barrel, didn't I? Definitely. Don't worry about that if you don't know what I'm talking about. If you're a Gungeon aficionado, have mercy. Um, it's been a while. I mean, it's been... Three years since I played the uh, regularly And even then I wasn't necessarily that good. I have beaten the past with every character that existed up to that point the face melter All right, I, re I remember it's a guitar Who we got for a boss here? It's the bird Doesn't when you reload this it makes amps on the ground that also shoot or have I have I lost my mind? I took damage, by the way, because I'm very dumb and stupid. Um, I don't know if we should even be using this in the first place. The crossbow is probably just fine. Why am I annoyed by that? Well, because if you perfect the boss, then you get an HP upgrade, which is kind of, for me, at least in my skill level, fairly precious when it comes to having a chance to succeed in the game. I think, at least. So yeah, I've beaten the Lich. Uh, I was never great at uh, the lich fight definitely like a lot of a lot of learning still to be done there but i would say for a welcome back first floor this wasn't too bad yo excuse me sir do we really have to watch this animation are you coming back to life or something what's happening i can't move gross you know why i can't move i bet my controller unplugged itself this is a, this is a friggin' disaster, dude. Great time for it to happen, though. If that happens again, I'll, I'll keyboard and mouse here for sure. So we got a synergy. Let me see, let me see it. The synergy. This is just new stuff that we've unlocked, by the way. Come on. Okay. So synergy between face melter and drum clip. Increased magazine capacity for all guns. Can we see what the synergy is? I don't think so. I think we gotta... Oh, it's a different... Get... Oh, it's like a double damage guitar! Cool stuff, dude. Well, I didn't see anything else that I really wanted to pick up here. Let's head down to the next floor. We did miss a secret floor. Life goes on. You know, I'm trying to... More or less just uh, get myself reacquainted. So I, I will spend... I know we have to do this. So I'm going to spend 61 to make the key a little bit cheaper. You know what I mean? The, I know that once we get the key, we can fight the rat. And I really, at the very least, would like to get a couple of stabs of fighting the rat over the course of this playthrough. Because the punch-out style mechanics, believe it or not, that sort of thing is my bag, baby. Hello. I was excited to see... Uh, you know, I'll take it. I know, uh, well, you're not supposed to take keys until you've seen uh, all the item rooms on the floor and uh, you've made sure that the shopkeeper has a key and... Okay, whatever, dude. Look, 
You watch your Austins and your uh, Bizsnaps and your Corys and your etc. etc. Alright? They get 600 wins in a row at the game. I'm not that sort of guy. Necessarily. I don't know. Maybe depend We'll see how this one goes. Maybe uh, I'll win this one and then I'll just mess around and get 500 more wins right in a row. You know? How hard could it be? One thing I've heard is that actually, um, people who play a lot of Gungeon and a lot of Isaac, and this is, I'm not saying this to front, okay? What do you got in here? Is, oh, dude, it's the, it's the NPC that I've been told uh, will unlock a new game mode, and also I will very much enjoy that game mode, apparently. Um, people that play a lot of both have told me they think that actually Gungeon is easier than Isaac, which is hilarious because Isaac is the easiest game ever made. You don't know what a red ammo box does? It refills your weapon halfway. But I think it actually fills up all of your guns halfway now that I think about it. Um, I'm being a little facetious, of course, but... Um, thank you. Uh, Gungeon seems super hard to me, but I understand that, that like Isaac, there's there's almost like a flowchart associated with it. We got super lucky to kill that thing before I had to demonstrate what was new about it. <laughs> All right, let's do it, dude. I'm ready. Give me the boss. Who is this? Oh, the uh, I forgot his name. The Beholster, that's right. It's a trip down memory lane, dude. He is absolutely getting, well, his face melted, I suppose. This is going really well. I am having a little bit of trouble focusing on the screen. Really endeavoring not to take any damage here. Would love to get the HP upgrade. Sometimes the HP upgrade is a mimic. Dude, we got the cell key. Oh, we also got the Vorpal gun, which I only know because we just saw it. Vorpal gun, 50 critic caliber, whatever the heck that means. Okay, well, we might as well. How much ammo does it have? 250, hmm. Usually, the way I understand Gungeon meta is that uh, guns fit into a couple of different archetypes. What? It has critical hits, maybe? The I, I, it's probably the final hit slows time for a second, right? Sometimes? All the time? We will unlock that cell. Do not fear. Um, guns are either boss killers or room clearers, useless or somewhere in between. You know what I mean? Uh, this one, I don't know, it seems like a pretty decent room clearer so far. What do we got going on here? Do, do I have enough gold to, to play your game? 30? Sure, I had 31. Okay, let's do it. So we gotta break these targets. It's like Super Smash Brothers. One. Okay. Modest prize. Green means we bounce, but I don't think we bounce enough. I don't even know if we could we could probably sneak it through there, but the the bullet does have a, you know, a width to it. Like that probably would have been acceptable. That's a bad one. I don't know. Do you think maybe this one's a little easier to get? 2 is relatively good. We only get 4 shots, so the maximum we can do is 3 here. Trying to find a, an acceptable vector. Probably making this a little bit too complicated, but... Give it a sec. He's a genius, dude. Hey, not bad. Take this. A green chest. Yo! <laughs> it's the stinger. I remember the stinger. It's a uh, rocket launcher that also shoots bees. Which seems insanely good. I feel like we are... I don't want to say overpowered, because, I mean... You know, I've heard lay people talk about Isaac. You know, they're like, if you get two shot speed upgrades, nothing can stop you, dude. Maybe I'm in doing the same thing with Gungeon right now, but it feels pretty good so far. Let's, let's open it. What the heck are you? Glass cannon. Fragile and fatal. Fatal. 
Powerful, but shatters upon taking damage. Ooh, interesting. That seems like the very definition of a weapon that we should use to kill bosses. My cats, I, uh, they're fighting in the other room. Ruka and Tomo. Why can't we just get along, you know? You don't realize. You're both in this together. If me and my wife die, you have a responsibility to take care of one another and split our corpses for food. I don't understand what the, what's so hard to understand about that. Now, I got like literally no complaints about this run so far. Um, I do think... Uh, I, I know that you can steal the rat key. Because it is like, it's an ask. You know, to to spend 900 gold, it's like the donation machine in Isaac. I think I don't know if you know if the Gungeon devs would tell you the same. Maybe they have different inspirations, but this does feel like a game that that looked at Isaac and and learned some lessons. You know, took and I, when I say took, I don't want it to either sound like a Canadian hat you wear in the winter or like it's uh, plagiarism. But you know, lifted some design decisions uh, from Isaac and and applied them, you know, to to their own game. In, in a way that was unique, but also, you know, positive. So stuff like, you know, persistent unlocks uh, from something like a donation machine that you've got to contribute to cumulatively. Are you hearing this, cat? Alright, I got no keys, dude, but I gotta go take a look for a sec. Yeah, yeah, what is it, dude? Ruka? Why are you freaking? What's wrong, buddy? I don't, you know? Everything seems okay out there. I don't really know what's happening. Um, well, we're not gonna get another key. We might as well free our friend, the Rainbow Lord there. If you're wondering why I'm not moving. You got it all figured out, dude. Give it a sec. Just give it a sec. You know what? I should be using um, PS4 controller for this. Yeah, we're just freaking here. You know what? We're in keyboard and mouse territory now. I've rethought it. Now we're keyboard and mouse users, okay? Right click to dodge. <laughs> how, how to. E. That's right. That's how you do it, dude. Hey. Thank you for saving me. My name is Bowler, Bowler for short. I got a great offer for you. Just meet me in the breach and I'll tell you all about it. I'd be it would be my pleasure, dude. Now the final thing I need to know, what's what's map tab? Beauty. Means we can get out of here. All right. You know, we're we're keyboard or mouse uh, people now. I never thought I'd see the day and yet here we are. I've been having some controller issues. Is entire I, I don't want to get into it. But Suffice it to say, I blame the Cullen 2 for all of my PC-related woes. I believe the Vorpal gun, is it a reference to the Jabberwocky? The Lewis Carroll poem? I thought, I thought that's where the Vorpal blade comes from. It might be from... Who knows, dude. Yeah, just dodge, like, right into it. It's gonna, you know... Be an adjustment period, let's say. For me to get used to keyboard and mouse here. I've been using the controller for a long time. But you know what? If it's time to start fresh, then let's start fresh, dude. Why are you so strong? You know why? Because I'm dumb and there is a, uh, a buff lord here. Terrible decision on my part. Good stuff. Very, you know, a decent move. Even though you're probably better off using your blanks. Uh, specifically to help get a flawless from the boss, I'm willing to live with it. See, this guy, he shouldn't have been so bad. Now, the only other thing I need to know is how do we change weapons again there? I don't really want to use glass cannon yet. Give me a sec here. I mean, I feel like we could probably get away with using the crossbow still. But maybe the face melter's fine. You know, that's definitely where, like... 
you know, we've played Gungeon a lot on the NLSS. This is where I appreciate my good friend Austin's guidance. Is, uh, you know, when I need to know things like, hey, when should we uh, invest in... Oh, it's a gun muncher, so we can turn our guns into better guns. Um, when should we stop using, you know, our starting weapon and start using, like, you know, a slightly better weapon? And then the answer is always, it depends. And I say, we're not a problem-focused organization here, Austin. Why don't you come to me when you have a solution instead of more problems? Like, it depends. I just figured out why my cats are freaking so much. It's because one of them had the audacity to have a bowel movement. How dare you? How dare you poop in the litter box? Have you no shame? Dude, I gotta be honest. I'm kind of feeling like on my game right now. I know we're not playing perfectly, but I feel like it could be going a lot worse. I'm also like, hey, where the heck is... Uh... There we go. That guy right there. And then we should have one more, like a little green blob somewhere. There he is. Missed. There we go. There's, there's more? I don't know why. Okay, you know what? I'm dumb. I have, for whatever reason, I was under the impression these skulls don't take damage. And you have to kill all the other enemies in the room first. Clearly not the case. Could use an ammo up. Because, I, I mean, I would rather use the Vorpal gun for sure. It feels good to be playing Gungeon again. Let me say. Why did I stop? Well, oh, that was so bad. At some point... Well, you know what the actual problem was? Uh, for me, at least. Uh, the runs became way too long. Uh, the better I got at the game, I reached that awkward point where you're good enough for every run to take a long time, but not so good that it starts to crest downwards again. You know, like, the first few runs, Isaac like, only take, like, 15 minutes, because you lose. And then they start to take, like, an hour, because you go all the way. But then, eventually, you play so much that, um... They only take you, like, you know, half an hour because you've gotten a lot better. You can prioritize the stuff that's actually relevant. You know, you're, you're not struggling as much. You get the general idea. We never hit that point in Gungeon. Probably could have if we gave ourselves a little bit more time. But also, you know, all good things must come to an end. Even Isaac at some point. Um, that was very bad of me. I no longer feel like I'm on my game. Good hit. Bad hit. Bad miss. There we go. Just wait for him to get into your crosshairs. That, that was the main reason, though, is that Gungeon episodes started to be like 90 minutes long each. Oh my god, this cat. I get it, you pooped. Get over it. Yeah, you never listen to Michael Stipe? Everybody poops. Everybody, I mean, you don't have to change the lyrics. Cries. Okay, I gotta try glass cannon. If that doesn't work, the stinger is also good. Just want to see what happens. If this doesn't work, oh, dude, it's great. Just be careful because it is gonna break if you get hit. I think. No! No! It, it's broken and I'm, I'm, I feel bad and dumb. Okay. And I also lose my flawless. <sighs> oh well. Life goes on. We got a lot of boss killing weapons. I'm super stoked about that. I could use some good upgrades though. Like on guns, if you give me some ammo, I feel like I'm set. On... Passives, I feel like I'm in a garbage tier right now. That was still a pretty good fight. I, I'm embarrassed that I took damage against this guy, but, you know, life goes on. Okay. Uh, unicorn Horn. I actually did not realize that's a cursed item. Cursed items mean we will encounter more, uh... Pardon me. Uh, difficult variants of enemies in the future. Or we'll have a higher chance to. And then also, like, as curse stacks, 
other things happen that I'm not fully aware of, to be honest with you. This game's got a lot of stuff that, like, if you were there for the uh, updates, you know what's happening. I don't think I have anything that can extinguish this, so enjoy exploding. Although, if I could break you first, sure, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, we got a key out of it. I don't know if we can ever reload the glass cannon, by the way. If not, I might as well toss it in the gun muncher, I suppose. Uh, anyway, what I was gonna say is, if you were there for it, you know, it's like a it's like a college class, you know? You miss a class, you're probably okay. You miss three weeks of classes, you come in and you're like, mm, what's the oxalate acidosis cycle? You know what I love about Gungeon 2? It's got a great sense of, of style and character. It, like, it, it's a great looking game. For one. But also, like, it's not afraid to have a little fun with it. You know, there's some silly stuff that happens in this game. I mean, just the concept of getting into a boxing match with a rat is, like... It's pretty silly to begin with, you know? Unless you're... Disney. Um... Oh, you haven't seen the, the part of Ratatouille where they... They box? You haven't seen that? Okay, I don't know what this is. Cat Bullet King Throne. A cat throne. How convenient. <laughs> I'm like, how do we get there again? It's not tat. It's not escape. It's not con it's not control, but that's good to know. It's not I just want to see what the item does. How do we open the Necronomicon? Chat, how do we open the Necronomicon? I it's I. Thank you. Shoots miniature bullets on dodge roll. This throne was originally intended to be included with the physical edition due to a manufacturing defect. The scale is way off and only suitable for a cat. It was eventually tossed into the gungeon. Oh, dude, that... Actually seems at least cool. Well, with 81 gold, let's go to the, the ye old gun monster. Um, wouldn't mind getting the helix bullets, to be honest, but... Walk away slowly. Two empty slots, so... Don't really want to put the Vorpal Gun in there. I feel like I would I would feel okay to put the crossbow in there. And then put the glass cannon in there and just see, you know, if the... Oh, the Muncher doesn't want that gun! Okay, um, my bad. You know what? Take the Unicorn Horn. I hate to say it because it might be great. I mean, it was cursed, but what do you got for Enjoy your new gun. I know this. The Crescent Crossbow. I don't know if it's good. I honestly don't. What I do know is I'm going to buy some ammo for the Vorpal Gun. And we can afford a key, so let's do that. So you might be wondering, NL, where are you going to go on this run? Well, my intention is to go as far as I can. If I can defeat the Dragon on the fourth floor, I would consider it a reasonably successful... Um, endeavor for us. Seems interesting. Really, really smart play there. Dude, this actually seems pretty solid. Um, if I could beat the Lich, I would consider it to be beyond my wildest expectations for our first run. But yeah, in, just in general, my level of skill at Gungeon right now, you know, I'm no super slouch. I would say regular Dragon is definitely, like, within my, uh... It's within my expertise, shall we say. Super flooded, by the way. Had no idea what I was gonna do there. I think I got pretty lucky to not take damage in the initial bedlam. I, I actually thought it was going to be a big mistake, and I mean, I guess I'll wait till the discourse to see if it actually was, but I thought it was going to be a big mistake to get rid of the unicorn horn, and I gotta say, I think the dice roll maybe worked out in our favor. Ruka, you gotta relax, dude. I know you don't even know what relaxing means, but like, just, just cool it, my dude. Right. 
So I'm trying to think of... I don't even remember... Um, oh, those... Like, angry bullets? Scatter shot? Quantity over quality? Uh, I'm assuming... Your shots... Uh, there's a spread to them, but you get more of them. What are you? Pray at the altar. Or walk away. Let's pray. We got a we got a synergy and some glass guan stones. Max pain. Glass guan stone plus uh, glass cannon. Uh, and glass armor. Pain's blessing. Do I got no idea. Forgot the fourth floor bosses. Um, yo, scatter shot plus uh. Plus the this sweet crossbow seems like unbelievably strong. By the way, this hopefully, I hope at least it goes without saying. Uh, Gungeon is an amazing game, and it's it's fairly evident that it is when you watch it being played, but is also even more evident when you play it yourself. So, uh, I would encourage you to check it out. It's on Switch. It's on PS4. It's on. I don't know if it's on Xbox One. I would assume probably, but you can search for yourself. It's on freaking Steam, obviously. Um, if you're interested in checking it out for yourself and, and you've never done so, I encourage you to do it. It's uh, it's just a delightful game. Okay, dude, get out of here. Do I shoot? I, I thought maybe I shot twice as many bullets, like my ammo went down twice as quickly with this, but I don't believe that that's actually the case. Hey, dude. Oh, I see. That's fair. I, I deserve that. Excuse me, that shaman is still alive up here? Can you not? Shaman? How about snowman? Don't do that. We got real ammo-related problems, by the way. We also, I'm just realizing, we have no uh, quote-unquote spacebar item yet. As much as it might seem like a huge ask... Man, oh man. Would I love... Oh, you son of a gun. Would I love to flawless this boss. <laughs> Get to 5 HP. I mean, that's the thing, like, you know, the... Man, he got body, but um, that's the thing, you know, every subsequent boss is a little harder to flawless than the boss that came directly before it, but um, Table Tech Heat can't afford it, so let's not worry about it. I have a feeling we, we may wish to purchase some ammo in the future. I'm stoked at least. So the way I understand it, the character we unlocked, uh, for, or the NPC, let's say, for the Breach uh, is a character that allows you to do runs that are a little bit like drafting. Like you you choose from a set of items maybe, uh, to or abilities or, or guns to, uh, to create a run. Which is a really cool way to do like an Eden sort of start. But I, I've never seen it done nor done it myself so I have no idea how it's actually going to work. But... Are we going to try one of those next? I don't know. I was kind of thinking, like, I mean, it's on the horizon for sure. And especially since we just unlocked it, that would probably seem like the, the smart money, right? Um, but uh, I was kind of thinking, like, Robot Past is also high on the list. These casts are insane, dude. We're, we're real low on the, on the ammunition front. What started as such a promising situation has now put me in such a, a delicate spot. I didn't think it was possible. Sorry, don't fall apart. You got every available opportunity. You know what? Just hit him with this so you don't have to worry too much about your ammo temporarily. Obviously, I don't really want to roll rusty sidearm too long. Face Melter does seem to get pretty sick with the uh, scatter shot here. Uh, we got to open it. It's a synergy chest. What are you? M1. What does it synergize with? Multi-tool. 
Maybe our final shot does something special. The sound is just wonderful. It does look like it has a grenade on the back of it or something like that. Dude, are we... Okay, let's give it a try. Ah, uh, okay, I remember you. Weird, uh, weird statues. Three, uh, blanks, by the way. Probably giving people, like, PTSD with the way I'm handling these dodge rolls. Change to the stinger, dude. So you're saying there's a chance. It's going okay. Still got two blanks. The explosions also kill some of the shots from the kill pillars. Oh, I forgot where my Q key was temporarily. Let's go. That was huge. Okay. So we got you. T oh my. These cats, dude. I know it sounds like there's disaster happening. I swear to you, it's not the case. What's wrong, dude? He's like, nothing. Let's try. Dude, you just buy more ammo for the glass cannon. It's good to go. All right. In Roka. What do you got for me here? Oh, you, he wants to buy my garbage items. Um, truth be told. You know, you, here's the thing. You can take Table Tech Shotgun. Here's the thing. You can take Table Tech Shotgun. So the, th the thing is... You can take... Table Tech Shotgun. Thank you for the shells. Um, and we'll we'll put them to good use on the next floor. Oh my god, Ruka, what's the problem, buddy? Hey! Yo, I, gotta, I hate to do this, I gotta go get this cat off the kitchen counter. Look at me, I'm on the kitchen counter. Meow, meow. The boys who like to meow. Spread the word around. Guess who likes to meow? That's a that's a Northern Lion original. Just invented right now. Wow, I got hit. Um Well I'll tell ya. Oh I forgot you gotta Yeah yeah yeah. You gotta kill the skull after you kill the skeleton. Otherwise, the skeleton comes back, and that, nobody wants that, dude. Now, how do I feel about this run? My, I would, you know, 538, Nate Silver. We can fly. I don't need to roll over this. Um, I would peg my odds at, like, 70% of beating the regular Dragon. And I know that that's just like beating Mom and Isaac. But I would consider that a relatively decent start. Considering we also, you know, productively unlocked an NPC on this run. I would consider that an okay day at the at the races. Where did you come from? Oh my god, his bullets are so fast and my reaction time is so not. Uh, okay, I would peg our odds at about 4% of beating the dragon. Change weapons. Let's see what we got. Uh, you know, I think the M1 seemed like, uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. Maybe not an ideal room clearer, but... Why are you so strong? I was also thinking, like, what does multi-tool do here? You know, like, uh, the other part of the M1. I was thinking, maybe if we dodge rolled, we'd shoot a grenade or something. Maybe it's not a grenade on the back of it. Who knows, dude? It's so the thing, is it's a great game to play with chat, because whenever you get a synergy you don't know, people will be like, here's what it does. That's very helpful. By the way, we have higher ammo capacity now because of our uh, utility belt upgrade. We have a higher everything capacity, but I don't know what that means. Maybe we can hold two active items, but we have zero at the present moment, so... Not really a huge deal. Okay, we're in a, a very, very dangerous spot where 
essentially one single shot could ruin our run. What should I do? The honest answer, as much as I hate to say it, is get good. Like, play better. Uh, probably, like, if you don't run into a secret boss, that would also be advantageous. I don't think there's ever been a better time in our lives to pop out the, the so-called glass cannon. Charge it up, dude! I'm hoping the glass cannon shreds this fool. It is very strong. I hate using my blanks here. But I I really <laughs> I really don't want to get hit. My god. Please. I'm begging you. He's done it. Okay, so we get we get HP. That's the big one. Glass cannon, you done me a great service. Thank you so much for your help. Okay. Ah, it's the charge shot, which I have previously thought was not that good. Um, it also moves these enemies around outrageously. But I gotta be honest, room clear potential seems to exist as long as we don't accidentally hit these enemies into ourselves. Let's reload. Terrible timing. Don't forget, you know, Austin's taught me a lot about Gungeon. Whether or not I've learned it well remains to be seen, but um, you don't always... Good, just walk into it. You don't always have to uh, roll towards something. You can roll in place and take advantage of the iframes. Just, just the same. You know, like get up against the wall and then go like that. We're getting close to another item room as well. Dude, I gotta be honest, charge shot kind of slaps here. It's doing some great work. I'll open it. I'm not picky about chess. Speed up? Speed up, okay. Dude, I was just thinking, I wasn't gonna mention it, but I was thinking like a speed upgrade would be a, it'd be a real slapper of an item. Frost bullets are gonna be way too expensive. Gunjang, I hear it's pretty good. Um, I've never had it personally. I think. Let's let's continue exploring. I don't I don't actually think like uh, we're in that much danger right now. And we've actually done a, a pretty darn good job getting ourselves back from the brink. Turns out the boss was super helpful. Now, not having uh, any more blanks, I would stop short of saying is devastating. Not an not a ideal scenario. Sorry, all literally 100% of my brain power was used there to make sure we dodged. This dog is actually the MVP. The amount of HP this dog has granted me is uh, absolutely absurd. I gotta, s dude, for all the. I don't know why in my head I thought charge shot kind of sucked because right now it's. I mean, maybe partly due to the synergies, maybe majority due to the synergies, but, like, it's absolutely dominating. It's the greatest room clearer anyone could ask for. Well, it is only my first run. <laughs> it's like when people eat, like, Japanese food for the first time, and they're like, has a food better than edamame ever existed? Yeah, dude, it's called chicken karage. Look it up. Dude, I, I got so mind flooded. I, I walked myself into that, and yet here we are. Okay, so what do, what do we want ammo for? I mean, honestly, I feel like 360 ammo on the face melter is pretty much where we want to be. Oh, it, it does give you, like, quarter ammo for everything else? Is that, I don't know. Anything that's below a certain threshold maybe gets a bonus. I'm not saying, by the way, that charge shot would be any good against bosses. I, I can't say for certain that would be the case, but I feel like it's, it did wonders for us on this run. Yo, uh, the Zorgun 
also really good. At least it's final shot. And I, dude, I feel so vindicated for our desire to explore here. Keep it up, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And, and charge shot definitely ain't broke. Yeah, but you know what is broke is walking into those shots. Now, you might be wondering, why not use a blank? Well, <laughs> glad you asked. I want to uh, make sure that I could, if I wanted to, flawless this boss and then get the HP to make the Lich potentially work. 40, 40, 32. Well, how about this? So again, I, I now would place our odds of beating the this nerd extremely high. The regular dragon is no big deal for me. I hope. How much HP did that take? Not as much as I would have liked. But enough to be relatively pleased, I think. Careful with that dodge. We got a little lucky there, I think. Also notice the bad ergonomics of my setup right now. I'm peering over my microphone to see the bottom of the screen, which I have to imagine is probably very bad. My son, I'm so close to giving you some, some attention. You just gotta let me finish the episode here and then we'll be good to go. So I screwed that one up something fierce. Do not blame my son for that, it's not his fault. We could kill the dudes on the side. Could slash should. But I'm just kind of trying to... Yo, dude! I was hoping we could get through the health bars before it mattered. Excuse me, my B friends. Thank you. Oh, thank God. Okay. So I, th I think we got him, honestly. But, uh... Well, I, I think we've got him, definitely. This is a situation with which I'm very comfortable. Will we be able to defeat the Lich Floor? Almost certainly not, but we're gonna give it the old college try. Reload faster, please. I think we're fine to keep using the Stinger. Seems like it's doing great work. Okay. See, we, we need this HP for the future. This ain't Slay the Spire, brother. You mess up in Gungeon, you take that HP with you to the next floor. Okay. So, I would consider this run a relatively decent success just as a result of our performance right there. Sunlight Javelin has been unlocked. You know, the more the merrier as far as unlocks go. But, the, you know, uh, the real Dark Souls starts here, etc., etc. The real difficulty of uh, Gungeon starts here. Okay, here's the thing. You know, I shouldn't even have to do this because uh, I can fly. So, you know, you're insulting me a great deal. So I, This is like... I leave. Let's not. Let's go to the Lich fight. Just to see, dude. Just to see. You never freaking know. Right, Ruka? You never know. So what are we going to use? I mean, I feel like Crescent Cross... Oh, do we still have Spread Gun? Or Charge Shots? Yes, we do. I remember you. I remember getting hit on this room more times than I should have. I've done it. This guy doesn't stop shooting, so don't, don't let him get one over on you. Let's go over the tail of the tape. How are we going to succeed on this floor if we're going to succeed? We definitely have to reach the Lich fight with as close to maximum HP as possible. Yo! Okay, so I believe Casey is like one of the most loved and one of the most hated items in Gungeon. It's basically... Right, really good performance there. It's basically... A melee item that does a ton of damage. Ergo, maybe like 
It's a mom's knife analog, if you will. Uh, I know, you know, some of the Gungeon streamers like it. Some of the Gungeon streamers absolutely despise it. I have no idea where I stand. Except to say, I know it blocks bullets, by the way. Oh, please do not use the rusty sidearm. But also, I feel like I'm too mind flooded to change at this point. Um, charge shot, please. Thank you. Um, I know it blocks shots. I do think it has maybe a slightly higher skill floor to use than you might just think of by looking at it for the first time. So I'm, I'm being a little conservative. Yo, it's getting real. That was a great room. Good job, me. Thank you. Okay. I thought I heard some lasers. Okay, so the skeleton's gotta go. Probably should not rely on just immaculately dodging when instead he has the probably the most dangerous attack of all the enemies available on this particular room. You're not dead. You're dead. Dude, I'm gonna be very, very disappointed when we run out of ammo on the charge shot. I mean, we got other stuff. The face melter still is kicking. But it, it's been very good to us. I feel like my my batting average on not taking damage on a room is, is pretty high when we got the charge shot active here. I don't know about that one. Yo, it's a little hot. Thank you, Charge Shot, for deflecting the enemy away from me before he died in a hail of bullets. Oh, thank you. Dude, we're gaining... I mean, we lost armor. <laughs> we gained HP. It's not all bad. I see him. I see him. No! I dodged a little... Suboptimal vector. Let's be real. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, 2 HP, definitely not enough to take out the Lich, for me. Um, but, we're, we're surviving. Definitely feel like I would like to get to the, excuse me, sir. We're empty. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you so much. We, I think I threw the gun accidentally. And how did I not get hit? Uh, throwing the gun killed the enemy? Uh, combined with the roll from our throne? That's absurd. Oh, I hate the bullets these guys shoot. Hit the wall. Oh, man, that's a great attack. Hit the wall. And then split into new bullets. Life is pain, dude. Okay. Okay. Dude, replenish the... I mean, if you're going to have a chance to win, you probably need to replenish glass can. Maybe? Sword gun seems fine. Um, or it seems better than fine. We don't need charge shot to clear rooms necessarily. Although if we get another ammo drop, that would probably be the next one I would take for sure. Zorgun seems to be doing fantastic work. It's a fifth element reference, if I remember correctly. Probably try to hit the enemies with the bullets. Tends to make the whole thing a little bit more effective. This is a gun. Oh my god, I can hear the cats going insane in the other room. This is a gun you don't want to reload. Because the final shot carries a certain little je ne sais quoi. Also reloads real quickly, though. 
Yo, we're back to 2 HP, okay. Keep it up, dudes. Remember, you can fly. Flying's it's a big advantage in every roguelike under the sun. Gungeon's no exception, I think. By the way, if you're like, man, he's playing surprisingly well. I want you to prepare yourself for the fact that this might be the best run we have for a couple of days. Just because of the fact that I really feel... Oh, that's a wall, dude. I really feel like we've gotten some great pickups. Like, I feel overpowered, despite not having played the game in, in quite some time. Oh, my God. How have the cats sustained this level of energy for this long yo you guys are you're quick that's what you are shaman's gotta go okay what else you got here vorpal vorpal seems okay where's that shaman there you go get him out of here no more summons please don't have a ton of ammo left in this one, either. Ruka. I hear you, buddy. It's just, you know... You ever hear the story about the cat that cried wet food? When it actually got wet food, uh... Nobody believed him or something. I don't know, it's been a... You know, I don't... I didn't make the story, okay? I'm just telling it to you. This is just a tribute. You gotta believe me. Well, that that was fast. This run is doomed, for the record. Unless we find a way to get just a staggering amount of HP. You know, I gotta say, the Zorgum is doing some, some lovely work for us. I don't even think there's a shop down here, so I think... Uh, I actually jumped in my chair thinking I would get hit by that shot. I don't think there's a shop down here, so... I think it's fundamentally impossible for us to get HP that doesn't come from... Uh, essentially, the, the dog finding it. I'll, I'll fill up, for real. That was huge. ABM, dude. ABM. Always be moving. Standing still is how you get killed. Well, I would revise my earlier projection. I would say if we could get to um, the Lich, I would consider this run a success. So we're, we're already bad and above what we expected to be at. Um... And, you know, hopefully, it's only up from here. Like that Shania Twain song that nobody remembers because it was from the period of her career where she sort of tried to, like, you know, reinvent herself. But you don't need to reinvent yourself. You're friggin' Shania. You know? Let other people reinvent themselves to rediscover their relationship with your music. You don't need to, you know, make a get you good. You know, debase yourself. Anyway, I'm very passionate about this subject, as you can tell. Another dead end, huh? Well, I gotta tell you, George is getting a little upset. <laughs> there is one other avenue I guess we could win with uh, that I haven't talked about. Um, what if we just got a lot of flanks? Well, we'd have to all use them properly, which is a challenge in and of itself, I suppose, but it's not outside of the realm of possibility, I think. I gotta be honest, this room's not that bad. 
Lots of lots of flashing lights on the screen, but so far I'm I'm not feeling too put out by it. Do hate that guy, obviously. It's the the jittery shots, dude. You never know. Oh, I thought you were spitting out a mimic. So Commando, I actually think, is also a pretty good weapon. And at this point, what's the difference between a freaking room clearer and a, a non-room clearer, you know? I think we do, we just got to go for it. So we're going to go Glass Cannon. And, uh, I mean, if we get hit twice, we're dead. I will be happy if I die um, having used my blanks. That's right, I've been watching streams. <laughs> if I die having not been supremely overconfident to the point where I had blanks remaining, I think I'll be content. In the first phase of the Lich, it's just life, you know? Is just Gunja. I don't think we got too much to worry about there. Is this the second phase of the Lich? I literally just do not know how to. I don't have the pattern memorized. You know, stay frosty. Believe in the power of your rolls. I gotta say, I'm, I'm almost impressed with myself. Ho 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 ho! Daddy's back! Now, let's see how this goes. No promises, but there's always a chance. Charge it up. I don't even remember half of your attacks. Yep. Okay, I mean, you gotta change weapons. Let's get some exploders out there. Okay, so I, I mean, again, that's the one that you should be able to dodge, but I don't know how to dodge it yet, but that's okay. Dude, that was a really fun run. I had a great time. Let's return to the breach, and I'll be back with another one next time. These episodes take a lot of time to make. I hope you enjoyed them, but if you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!